Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life. So what I've got today is a little bit of card and um, this is just mount card, what they call mount card or cardboard even. You can just use ordinary plain cardboard. And this particular board is a roughly, well it is exactly I should say, not roughly because this is a micrometer, um, four millimeters thick. So um, if it's a little bit flimsy, then you can cut it in half and stick two pieces together with some PVA glue. And that's going to give you a nice board. So if you find some cardboard, don't forget, you can just paint on cardboard. Um, I've given it two coats of gesso, which is ideal because you need to prime the surface. Otherwise, it's going to be too absorbent. And this is an approximate measurement of 10 by 10 by 8. There you go. So just cardboard today just cardboard I was gonna have a bit of fun before we have a bit of fun let's have a look at the colors I'm gonna be using I've got some medium red I got some cerulean blue I got some hookers green I got some yellow medium yellow I got some yellow ochre Prussian blue and Mars black and um, let me explain to you why I've decided to pick these colors um, so I got the yellow and the I got the yellow and the red which is gonna make an orange because there's going to be a lot of green in this painting. So the opposite of a bluey green is an orange. So an orange is a, is, is a wonderful um, thing. If you have a look at the color wheel, let's get the color wheel up, up on the board. There we go. Let's put the color wheel up. So we've got, we've got red and green, which is opposite. But a red orange and a blue green. Because a lot of the colors I'm going to be using, as far as greens are concerned, are going to be like a bluey green. So um, you've got... The opposite of that is a red orange and the opposite of blue is orange so these sit really well together so i'm going to be working in a roughly around this spectrum there green blue green i'm not going to go into the 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 the, the um greens too light that's the thing so let me just put that back up um so that's the end that was the choice of colors i've got um Yellow and blue will make a green. The cerulean blue has got a green undertone. That means it, it leans more towards the green spectrum of the blue. Um, so by adding yellow to that, I can make a lovely green. i got hooker's green. You can make a green up if you want to. Um, it, it, green is easy enough. It's just blue and yellow. Different blues, different yellows gives you different greens. So I have just thought I'd buy a pre-made. I got some pre-made paint here, so why not use it? Um, yellow ochre, just to give a little bit of flavour. You can mix yellow ochre and blue together. I'll give you another type of greeny colour. And then Prussian blue and black are going to be my like my shadow colours. And that's that's my reasoning behind that's my reasoning behind my palette because <laughs> I've always asked these things. And why do I use small brushes? Um, because I use small um, canvases, really, doesn't I? So um, there we go. <laughs> doesn't I? Doesn't I? Doesn't I? <laughs> um, Let's put some medium mix into my water. Well, i got to put a little bit of water in. There you go, just a little bit of water. I get some of my medium mix. There it is, where's my medium mix? I picked up the wrong one, <laughs> typical. Oh, come on, open up. Give it a little shake, give it a little shake, because this does tend to settle a little bit. So always give it a little shake first. And just add a small amount of that. There we are, so you don't have to use it neat if you don't want to. And I just get the end of the brush. And I just do that. And that's available on the website, www.5art.co.uk. There we are. So, I'm just going to moisten my brush, take off the excess, and um, look at my look at my canvas or my, my piece of cardboard, and decide, right, let's go in, let's get some nice yellow, and add a small amount of hooker's green to that. There we go. Small amount of hooker's green. Yeah, add a little bit of blue to it because I want to blue it off, as I said. There we are. So we've got a bit of a blue green going on there now. That's a lovely colour green, actually. That's cadmium yellow, a small touch of hooker's green, and a little bit of a little bit of um, cerulean blue. What a lovely green that is. Maybe it's a bit bright, but we don't know. We'll let's just put it on. Let's, uh, I've never painted much on um, on cardboard before, but I think I'm going to be doing this a lot. I had I was lucky that um, a friend of mine given me. Uh, quite a lot of a card and um, as you can see I, I got sheets and sheets and sheets of this stuff so I thought well it's going to be handy if I can if I can paint with this and and do lessons then I can either I either give them away or I can just discard them and um, turn them around and paint on them again <laughs> but who knows I don't know what I'm going to do with them 
Um, and it's absorbing quite well into that. It is, yes. Okay, so get a bit of blue. This is this is the sky, by the way. <laughs> Clive, you're painting, you're painting a, a, a green sky. Well, I thought we'll do something diff totally different. We're using a different type of support. These, this is called a support, whether it's a canvas or a canvas panel or a piece of wood. Um, you can paint on many different things, especially with acrylics. But what you've got to do and... What you've got to do with acrylics is always seal the surface that you were painting first. That's important. I've lost my blue now because I'm talking too much. There we go. We'll put a bit more blue in there in a second. Yeah, this is the sky. Wow. This is the sky. I'm just finding my way across this painting at the moment. I just want to see what happens and how it's drying because I've said I've never painted on on cardboard before not really i've i've dabbled a little bit here and there like everybody else does but um i can't honestly say i've this is going to be like an upside down painting today <laughs> okay so let's get a little bit of that green over there i'm gonna add a bit more blue to it a bit of prussian blue to it i want to darken this down i don't want it too i don't want it too dark um I'll come across maybe like this. <laughs> come down there like that. Don't be afraid to experiment. It's it's important that you you're not you're not afraid when you when you're painting. And a lot of my painting, especially um, my YouTube lessons and things, I get I get a great deal of fun out of because. It gives me a chance to experiment, whereas in my normal everyday painting, I don't because I'm I'm painting pets mainly, um, but I do other things as well. If you follow me on the Facebook group, you 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 can see um, some of my private work on there, and you see that you know I don't always paint and have fun. Sometimes I sit here for hours and hours and hours just painting an eyeball. <laughs> Or a nose, <laughs> putting some putting some very fine lines in, and it it can be it it can be it can be tedious on time. And the only reason it's not tedious is because I absolutely love doing what I'm doing. So I'm just mixing up a a darker Prussian blue now, with a little bit of green in it. There we are. I want to put some just flicky lines in like this. Ooh. <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know. I got a little sketch down by there. <laughs> I've been asked, can we see your reference material? No. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Some of it, sometimes it's just little quick sketch paintings. And, and you've seen me doing that as well on, on other lessons. Um, I have showed you um, that, um, you know, what I do work by sometimes. And uh, more end, no end of the time is just a quick rough sketch or something. Or something I've done on Procreate, Procreate on my um, on my iPad, um, so, and that's just basically all it is. I haven't put any white on my palette, have I? Need I may may need, may need to put a bit of white, a bit of white. Always forget to put one color or two colors. Why do you set your palette out in this particular way, Clive? I've been asked a number of times, but I don't know. Just basically put the colors where I think I want them. Um, <laughs> there's no. There's no set real. You can have a palette set up. You can have all your cool colors and all your warm colors. People, artists tend to just set them up um, as they want them, and they do it at the same time every time. Um, I don't tend to do that. Uh, I just put the colors where I think they live. <laughs> That's all. That's it. As simple as that. I don't worry. I don't stress about these things. You shouldn't do it like this. You should do it like that. And you know, there's there's a rule. There's rules to set your palettes out, and there's rules to paint the paint in. And you should never paint the sky green. Why? Why can't you paint a sky green? Why? <laughs> Why can't you just put uh, a yellow there and a blue there and a black there and a purple over there? Why can't you do that? Why? It's your palette. You can do what you want. I don't believe in rules. Rules are only there to to be broken, and it's at the end of the day, it's it's your it's your painting, it's your palette, it's 
It's how you work. You are the artist. Don't let anybody tell you any different. If they tell you any different, they're not sure themselves. There you go. <laughs> That's my philosophy anyway. Yes, there are rules you've got to follow in art. Obviously, you've got to you've got to understand perspective and you know um, plain lines and um, vanishing points and depth in the painting. How to construct the painting. You you've got to understand all the fundamentals, which I will be covering as time goes on. Um, I'm gonna get a bit of yellow, but 99% of the time, when it comes to actually painting these things, I put a bit too much red in now. Now I'm talking too much. When it comes to um, painting these things, don't stress. Don't stress over it. I wouldn't stress over it, honestly. Trust me. It's not worth it at the end of the day. It really isn't. Wow. Orange now. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> yes. And why not? Who said you can't do that? Who said? I just want, I, all I want to show, all I want to show in my lessons is that don't be afraid to just paint. It, the most important thing about learning to paint is painting itself. And the more times you get a brush full of paint, and the more times you put that brush onto a, a surface to paint onto, and the more brush strokes you make, the better you are going to be. And, and that's all it is. It doesn't matter whether you're five or six years old or 60 or even 90 years old, anybody can paint and you don't need to draw the paint. You've heard me saying this so many times in the past. You don't need to, I just picked up a touch of black. You don't need, you don't need to know how to draw the paint. You don't, you just want to paint. When we were, if I had, if I had, if I had, Two people in the room with me, and one was eight years old, and the other one was 80 years old. The one that would most probably turn out the better painting would be the eight-year-old. And do you know why? Do you know why that is? Do you, do you, do you think you know what that, why that is? Because they don't care what they do. They just, they just paint, they have fun, they play. And when we're older, as we grow older, we forget and we lose that ability um, to play. And I have said this so many, many times in the past. I'm just going to get a little bit of white over there. I'm going to touch a little cerulean blue to it. There we are. So I just blew that white up a touch. And the ability to play, the ability to play, um, we lose. And if we got, if we got children or grandchildren or you know, nephews and nieces and things like that. Let's just sit down with them one day. Get some paint, even if it's just a colouring pencil. Let me just move my mic. Even if it's just a colouring pencil or drawing, and just play with them. Get some cars, get some Lego, and pretend you're a child and, and remember to play. Beep, beep. <laughs> Do it. Trust me. Let those inhibitions go and just enjoy yourself. And... Um, I'll introduce you to um, a couple of friends of mine in, in another lesson and these are action men, men figures that I had many many years ago in the 70s in fact that was bought they were bought for me for Christmas over several Christmases and things and these action men figures uh, they, they're, they're the proper ones they're the palatoy ones yes they are they're the actual palatoy action figures and I've got them upstairs, and um, I've got a little room upstairs. I've got a little room that Jane pushes me into. <laughs> i got a little room upstairs, and they're sitting on the shelf, and sometimes I just go in and play with them. Hmm. And I'm 56 years old. I play with them. And Jane says, what are you doing up there? Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> oh, dee, 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 dee. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll bring them into the studio one day, and I'll show you. And, um, and why not? Why not? It keeps you young anyway, I think. It keeps you young. There you go. I'm going to be turning the majority of people, subscribers, into um, absolute nutcases, I would imagine. <laughs> right, okay. I'm only joking. I love you all. You, you, it makes my day to come in here. I don't know if you can hear the rain. 
Let me put the mic up. I got a, the roof is there. Let me put the. No, you don't. I might take the camera out after and I'll show you what it's like out there. It's horrible today. Again, yes, Clive. It's always horrible. It's always it's always raining in Wales. So I, I, everybody says, Clive, it's always raining in Wales. Well, what's what's going on? Are you, are you have you got gills? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I have. <laughs> yeah, I do. There we are. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. I tell you what we need to do now. I'm going to dry this because it's it's. <laughs> It's starting to pull a little bit, and I don't like it when it does that because I've got a fear that it's just peeling away. So, I think we've got a we've got a good base there. I think we've got that wonderful looking base there. So I, I'm going to dry that with a hairdryer. And um... oh, you're back. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm just going to try this. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, so, um, right, let's get some yellow. I just took five minutes out by there then. And um, I went to take some video footage of, this, of the rain and I forgot to uh, put my camera back on for a minute. Right, let's put some... No. See how, how transparent that yellow is? So that's not good. So we need to get a bit of yellow. We need to get a bit of yellow in our yellow. <laughs> we need to get a bit of white in our yellow. There we go. We need to get a bit of white in our yellow. There we go. Sparkle it up a bit. That's better. So just... <whistles> if you painted with me before, you know that we can add a little bit more to that later on if we want to brighten that up a touch. And we'll just put a little bit of a a misty effect around it like this. Can you see what I'm doing? No. Clive, I don't understand why you're painting it like this. Well, it's just a bit of fun. As I said, just a bit of fun. I've been asked uh, many time um, about me uh, dragon on the on the wall over there. Yes, well, I'm gonna have to take that dragon down, and and I'm gonna have to trace it and um, see if we can't paint that. Um, I've got Saint David's Day coming up shortly, um, which is the patron saint of Wales, which is on on March the first, and um, I, I'm I'm been thinking about doing a painting to celebrate um, Saint David's Day because I don't I don't see much of that celebrated around the west of the world. In fact. I don't think many people outside the UK know about St. David's Day, but um, you maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I, a lot of things in um, are celebrated. we got leaks, leaks, not, not leaks through the roof, not when it rains and you get drips on your head. <laughs> We've got vegetables called leaks. And I'll bring one of them into the studio and show you one of those as well. And they're quite nice. They're like, they're like a long, thin onion. They really are. They're really tasty, in fact. And I quite like a little bit of a, I like a bit of a bit of a leak, here and there. I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow, just in that sky like that. We got daffodils. Daffodils are out now. Daffodils love daffodils. Um, they they pop the leads up normally at the end of January, beginning of February, and they and they flower all the way till about March time. Um, I've seen them as late as uh, as late as um, April. Uh, June as well. Sorry, I've seen them late. I, I've seen them quite late, in fact. Um, my mother always had bulbs and um, Prussian blue, a bit of serene blue. Always had bulbs growing in the garden, and um, yeah, I just want to put a bit of contrast in that sky like that. Yeah, anyway, how's that look? How's it look on camera? That was, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it looks a bit weird, <laughs> but we don't we don't mind weird. Not in, not in this studio. We don't mind weird at all. That's looking pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so um, let's get some let's get some white. I'm not cleaning my brush. I just wiped the paint off my brush. Um, yeah. So um, daffodils. Daffodils are lovely. Daffod I like daffodils. One of my favourite flowers. Daffodils. I'll get some daffodils in the studio. Maybe we can paint a daffodil one day. I haven't painted a daffodil. I've never painted a daffodil. Hmm. Perhaps I should do that. What are you doing now? <laughs> I'll tell you what I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to paint a, some sort of a tree shape. 
I don't know. I'm trying to paint the trying some sort of tree shape. There we are. There you go. Well, we'll get around it. Hmm. Where do you get your reference material from, Chloe? Well, I, I, a lot of my reference based material come from royalty free sites and um, image sites and some some references that, that you can you can buy and for stock photographs I make a purchase some some are about ten pound each and sometimes I, I buy some stock photos and you know you, I can use those and and what I do is just use them as a reference and I try to I paint them and um, and that's that's cool and everybody's a winner then If you if you want to if you want to use any of my images um, to sell or anything like that, please 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 just ask my permission, and I can tell you um, I can tell you the the best approach to use with those then because we don't want anybody to get in trouble, do we? This copyright thing is is a is a, is a nightmare. I wish I could just share everything I got out there, which I suppose I could give the copyright. To, of different things away but some images are some images are different like I done one the other week with my friend with, with um, somebody I contacted on Facebook group um, called Tony and I painted a, a seascape uh, of, a, of a local um, a local lighthouse and because um, that image doesn't belong to me and it doesn't belong to anybody I've been given the right to paint it and just shared it as a lesson but you know you should always cop contact the author of of these things and especially if you get something off the internet again i think it's important that you um you at least try to contact the person who owns that image to ask if you can use it as a as a painting just to be on the safe side just to be safe side yes yeah, just to be safe okay so enough of that um, I need a I need a I need a thinnish type of brush. Um, I got a uh, there. There it is. Can we use that one? No, we can't use that one. Use this one. <laughs> use this one. <laughs> okay, green. Hello, green. We got some green now. I'm gonna paint directly on top of that. I'm gonna paint directly on top of this white because. It is absorbing pretty quickly, and I'm just going to go down in lines like this. Quite a, quite a, um, a fluidy type of paint. I don't want it too thick. I'm getting, I'm quite excited actually. I'm quite excited. I'm, uh, I'm going to be off to see. Uh, a, a, an exhibition tomorrow which is tomorrow is um tomorrow is the day i go into cardiff hmm. and leonardo da vinci um uh, uh, drawings are in, in in cardiff museum which is which is fun and uh, they belong to the 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 royal collection and um these uh, images um are spread throughout the countryside let's say not, they're not spread throughout the countryside you know I mean they're not nailed on posts and things but they 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 dis distributed around certain um museums and, and galleries and things like that i don't know exact details but um and we we are lucky enough to have uh, i think it's 12 of them um exhibited in in, in cardiff museum so i'm going to be visiting there tomorrow i'm going to be taking my my lovely wife Jane who is feeling much better by the way and I want to thank everybody for all their um, you know good wishes and well wishes after Jane um, was knocked down or really badly um, by a car as we were crossing a pedestrian crossing and um, in November in fact and she is recovered really well I'm just going to get some Prussian blue now She's recovered really well, and we we are happy now that Jane is is back to normal-ish. I think 
I don't think Jane's ever been normal, but I can say that because she's not in the studio with me today. <laughs> so, which is going to be changing because um, Jane is, is going to be my, my right-hand man or right-hand person. I can't say man these days. <laughs> you, can't say, you can't say man. No, right-hand... Um, um, I don't know what what's it, what can we call her? I don't know. We'll have to think of something. We have to think of a we'll have to think of a title for Jane because she's going to be working in the studio, and she's going to be running the cameras. She's going to be running the sound, and she's going to be switching this camera from that camera and fading this in and fading that out. And I've been I've been drastic. I've been working with Jane quite hard to explain to her how things work, and. Um, she is doing pretty well considering she has not got a, a, a modern day phone and she can't she hasn't got a facebook account and she's she's doing pretty well considering so um <laughs> so um yeah i'm 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 quite pleased that 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 she's able to to help me in the studio so she's going to be she's going to be doing that for me and uh, which is going to take the pressure off me so hopefully well, I know hopefully, because hopefully this this will most probably go out after we did the first live anyway, this painting. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I'm I hoping I'm hoping uh, that, that that went off all right, because I don't know, because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> but um, this is a pre-recorded video, if you haven't already guessed. Um, and we, we can't do, unfortunately, we can't do lives every every single week, because it's just not, it's just not. We're not able to do that. We haven't got the time. Um, we both got day jobs, and you know it's it's important that we we maintain the money coming in. Otherwise, we won't have any. We won't be able to have a. We won't be able to pay our bills. If we can't pay our bills, we won't have any electric. And if we haven't got any electric, I can't make any videos. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to be trying to do um, lives well once a fortnight, once every three weeks, or something like that. I'm not too sure. It'll it'll increase over time because. As 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 the channel grows, and I want to thank everybody for subscribing. By the way, as the channel grows, then um, I should be receiving a little bit more money, and um, maybe I'll be able to put a little bit more time and effort into um, my YouTube channel, um, and, and less time in my work. Because what ultimately what I want to do, and and I would like to ask anybody that's watching these videos for the first time, is please subscribe because the quicker I can get and grow the quicker i can do this full time which is something i've always wanted to do and i've always wanted to teach full time and never had the opportunity really to to to, to teach full time and it is something that I'm, I'm i'm i really want to do especially as i get older and i'm not getting any younger and um so i'm just building up some light into these abstract weird looking trees <laughs> yeah um and i know jason bowen uh, normally watches my videos and um, he's going to be thinking what is he doing again today now so yeah this is having fun jason yes. god you you mentioned jason's name a lot clive that's another question i've had another response i've had on a, on a comment and uh, jason has become a very 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 close friend of mine um we've got a bromance we've got a bromance <laughs> yeah he's a very he's a very close friend and it's it's a shame that he w lives so far away in fact well not really because he'd be here every day for tea but um no it's 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 a shame really because when you got somebody uh, when when you're friendly with somebody like that and you know you can't really uh, interact with them as such um it's hard to 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 just talk on the phone really i think it's nice to see each other there we are talked enough about him anyway go and check his channel out <laughs> there you go oh, right how does it look it looks weird <laughs> <laughs> let's just wash the brush Right, I'm just going to see if I can find a little filbity brush. This is a filbert brush. Because it's, um, it looks like a short flat, but it's got a, it's got a rounded edge to it, so it's called a filbert. And you notice I don't use many big brushes as such. And I'm going back into that, that blue-green mix that I had. And basically, I'm just going to... Put 
but in a shadow on the ground like that depth and distance in a simple painting this is this is what this is what I must tr I want to try and show you is it you've got to create that depth in a painting there you go and if you can get that in a painting then you can you you can learn you can learn so much by doing simple little paintings like this it's it's absolutely amazing I love it I really do I'm gonna put some more thicker yellow just over that white now see how it's brightening up layers upon layers of paint and, and as long as those layers are dry underneath you shouldn't have any problem with paint lift paint lift comes when you're painting on top of a a, a, a paint that's not completely dry because um, acrylics form a skin and the skin is dry but it's like if you put a um, it's like pushing your finger on on your skin like that you are look at that see how my skin moves it's because my skin is hard and solid on the top but underneath there it's all soft and squishy so you can see the folds of my skin oh, I'm getting old <laughs> you can see the folds of skin see and that's exactly what acrylic does that's how it moves so if you think it's dry oh, if it feels dry and then you put the brush on it you scag the paint surface like that but well, that was a good that was a good example of an old man's hands <laughs> explaining paint <laughs> so there we go there we are we learn something new every day and that's that's the only way i can explain things it, it was sometimes when you, you when you explain things verbally you don't understand um you don't understand them but when somebody shows you physically shows you something then you go ah yes yes i understand now because i i got a visual reference towards that and that's what we weren't shown in school we were never we were just told things in school we weren't shown things <laughs> not in my days anyway not in my day no i'm slightly well i am dyslexic actually i i've got i've got not only my color blind with greens and this is why i like painting with greens because it gives me a chance to to practice with them um is i'm dyslexic as well and i'm i'm, I'm dyslexic dyslexic in mathematics um I, I can't see i can't see numbers in my brain now Give me a calculator or a computer and I understand formulas and things, but I can't see, I can't do mental arithmetic. I don't even know my times tables. You know, you, you, you ask me what, I don't know, eight, six, eights are, I couldn't tell you because I, I can't physically see that in my mind. And I, over the years, I've learned to, 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 to use computers and, and calculators and, and stuff. And that's not cheating. It's like, it's like saying, um, Oh, it's, it's cheating to trace with a painting. If you, if you don't draw, then it's cheating. No, it's not cheating. If you can't draw, you're just using the, the tools that you've got to give you the ability to do something that you want to do. Now, if you're, saying, if, if you're using that in the context and you're saying to me that um, I can't do mental arithmetic, I'm dyslexic, but I can't use a, com I can't use a computer or a calculator to do that, I've got to physically do it and I've got to count it out on my hands. And is that right or is that wrong? I'll leave that question to you. I think that's wrong personally, but you know, you, 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 if you've got a tool, use it. Use the tool. Use the tool to make, it, make life easier for you. If there's something you want to do and you haven't got the ability to do it, like drawing, but you want to paint, well, trace. There's no wrong. There's no wrong in that. The, 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 they've had they've had camera obscuras, they've had the Lucy drawing tool for centuries and centuries and centuries. Artists, um, you've got these famous artists and uh, masters that have used the, like the Lucy drawing tool and camera obscuras. Vermeer was a famous one for using a camera obscura. obscura. Um, if you can say it. Um, so don't tell me you can't do that. These people just don't understand sometimes that, you know, don't take the joy away from somebody because they can't do something. Find a way of them to do I find a way of them doing it. Don't take the ability away. If they want to do something, encourage them. Give them the give them the tools and the encouragement that they need 
to actually to, to, to do what they want, uh, what they love. So there we go. That's what I suggest we do. I don't know what this is. I'm just waffling now. But maybe it's just, I don't know. It's, it, it's just an abstract thing. There we go. <laughs> What is that in the corner of your painting, Clive? Well, it's an abstract thing. <laughs> Do I need to say any more? No, because I'm the artist. <laughs> uh, who cares? I don't. And I really don't care with art. I really don't. I just I just enjoy myself. And I, I, and I love, and I've got to thank you all so much for just listening to me and, and, and joining me here because... It's amazing that I've got so many people watching me now and so many people joining in, so many people commenting. We've got a fantastic um, community growing and especially now doing the lives as well. The community is growing really fast and I'm so impressed and I'm so happy. And you want to make my day? Then just press the subscribe button. That's all you need to do. All you need to do to thank me is just press that subscribe button if you've never seen one of my videos before. Um, just press that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. Like, unlike a lot of things in this world, that doesn't actually cost you anything. It doesn't. So don't let that prevent you from joining in and having fun. I subscribe to most channels I watch. I was watching a, a, a channel the other night um, on on OBS, which is a, which is open broadcasting software, which I use for uh, my live streams and things like that, and my broadcasts, my Q and A sessions, which I which I do um, once every fortnight, or I should be doing it once every fortnight. And um, oops, I just lost my cork. Can we a cork? Oh. Why have we got a cork? I put a cork in the end of a stick like that, see? And I use that to rest my hand. Yes, I do. Now, uh, save money every day with Clive in the studio. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of thicker paint on, because that's in shadow. Let's put a little bit of thicker paint there. Well, we've had a long talk today, and we've had some fun, and I, I, I hope that I've showed you something along the way. And these lessons are not just about painting, <coughs> the stress of everyday life away in Wales. They they are about talking and, and, and communicating with each other as human beings and that's where we need to be. And there's not enough of that going on in this world. We're so quick to to have a go at other people and, and, and treat people badly and whatever the colour and creed and religion that we shouldn't be doing that. We should treat each other as human beings and that's all I try to do in my little world. And um, please have a go at that. It's done on cardboard, as I said. You know, I'll grab some cardboard, get some cheap paints. Practice, practice, practice. Thank you very much for coming through the door and joining me in the studio today to paint away the stress of everyday life. Give it a try. Let me know how you get on. And I'd love to see all your lovely comments in the comments below. And don't forget to click our subscribe button. And if you want to pop along to Patreon for as little as a dollar a month or 60 pence a month, please support me there because that all helps to build the, the studio uh, technology. Really, it does. Yes. Okay, so thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye. And don't forget to click subscribe.